risk to the thesis. So we have right now we have only focused on what worked really well. So if everything was working well, the stock price would have been a two bagger, three bagger, five bagger, or maybe ten bagger. Why it didn't do well? Because businesses doesn't work only on numbers. They work also. So it is a customer centric business. If you have dissatisfied customers, it is it is very difficult to sell. Uh, as in, it is very difficult to uh, to continue your business in the long run. If you look at the uh, history of Club Mahindra, earlier there were issues where they used to sell uh, their rooms to non-members as well to earn more income. That was the uh, aim of the company. But with Kavinder Singh uh, taking charge in 2014, uh, these things have completely stopped. Uh, they have very less uh, income from uh, insignificant income from uh, rooms rent out to non-members and that is also done only during lean season where their analysis so that these are the resorts where uh, their customers are not going to come only on those and these there are separately uh, separate property marked for them that is where they uh, get the income from the non-members, right? But a big capital misallocation happened in case of this company which was acquiring a company like uh, HCRO, the Holiday Club Resort in Finland. They didn't need to do that. Uh, they spent around 400 crores uh, getting uh, acquiring the stake of the company. And if you just look at the math, uh, on an average, 1.5 crore is spent in building a one room for Club Mahindra. They could have got 266 rooms. That could have added a lot of uh, advantage and would have been able to serve a lot of members, existing members. And look at this thing. In India, who is going to, the, their rationale for taking that uh, decision in 2014-15 was that uh, they got a global uh, recognition. Now they are the largest vacation ownership company outside the US. That's a good thing. It's a good number and a good statement to market yourself. But ultimately what matters is are your customers satisfied? So over here, they say that we will offer our Indian customers to, to go and uh, spend uh, their one week even in these resorts. But just look at from an Indian mindset. As an Indian, are you going to spend so much on the flight ticket and other stuff just to uh, use your one week of Mahindra holiday membership where food again will be a costly? Uh, you will have to stay in a resort in a foreign country. If you, go, if you are going to visit a foreign country, don't you think you would want to visit a lot more uh, than just staying in a resort? In India, you would prefer a resort because most of the times our reason for taking a break is to relax, to take time off from our uh, normal life. So we want to relax and chill in one resort for a few days and that works uh, here. But if you are visiting some country outside, you won't be able to do that. You won't, that is not an attractive thing for you, right? And you will get a much better deal from something like a Thomas Cook because which is into this business of sending uh, uh, foreign tourists from India to abroad, they will give you a far better attractive deal, right? So that was probably a big, big, big uh, misallocation. And in terms of Peter Lynch, you can say a diversification. Di it's not diversification, but diversification, wherein when a business throws up too much cash, there is always a tendency of the manager to spend that cash in an ineffective way. That is probably what happened in case of Club Mahindra as well. The best thing for them should have been to invest that cash in build more inventory because customer satisfaction is one area where the company has not performed well over the last 10 years at least. It has shown times, it has it is showing times uh, signs of improvement because they have now stopped EMI, as in they are not encouraging EMI customers because they have realized EMI customers have a problem. Uh, some of them don't complete their uh, installment. Uh, these these members uh, do not even pay the ASF. So company have to make a lot of 
uh, follow up for the uh, annual subscription fee. These members do not come to the resort because for them resorts are probably high as in expensive. So company miss out on the resort income as well. So that is where if you'll see in the last two, three years, there has been a lot of effort in trying to improve the quality of members they are having and also trying to invest in the resort. So last year, even in the pandemic year, when we have seen that the travel has been hit, they have invested their highest amount in terms of building resort and uh, building uh, room inventory. And we have seen the result uh, this, uh, this quarter. Uh, we'll, we'll move to the next slide. So uh, it is better to be roughly right than precisely wrong. It's a very common, you can say it's a cliche today. Uh, many people say that, but uh, it is still a very underappreciated uh, thought process as for investing. Uh, we we focus too much on price to equity, price to earnings, price to book, price to sales. But a businesses businesses where you are where sales are happening of, for three year period, ten year uh, period. Uh, sorry or to interrupt 20, you. Twenty five years. Yeah. Hello. Uh, yes, Abhimanyu, was that you? Was that? Yeah, I think there is some disturbance in the voice. Some people are messaging me. They are saying that the voice is cutting. Uh, two people have messaged me just now. So I, so, uh, I, I think, I think maybe just... you can switch off your video. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm doing that only right now. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, I hope my voice is clear now, right? Yeah, we can hear you. Great. So, yeah, uh, I think it's clear now. Okay. Yeah. So, I'll just stop the video. Okay. So, uh, we were on valuation, right? So, it is an underappreciated thing wherein we focus a lot on the price to earnings. See, price to earnings, price to book, and price to sales always talk about the current sales, the current book. But a business like Mahindra holiday, how do you value a business like this? You have, it is very difficult to actually uh, know the true value of the business because uh, what you can, uh, what you cannot value today is what is the lifetime value of the customer? Because they are being sold a long-term policy, long-term membership of 25 years or 10 years. It is very difficult to value that today. So the, so a good way of uh, valuing it is or how to make your decision whether to buy the business or not is look at replacement value a simple heuristic is it replacement value means how much you have to spend in just building this business today i'm just talking about the asset not even talking about the employees and all 1.5 crore is a cost of building one room they own 2520 rooms today their total rooms are even more, but I'm talking about their current inventory. 2,520 crore, uh, 2,520 rooms, 1.5 crore. So total room value itself is 3,780 crore. So 2,818 crore, which is the market cap today, is less than the replacement value of this business. Add that, add the cash balance, unsecured debtors, and total asset value comes to around 5,925 crore. And now you may say that out of this asset, there is also a liability of uh, uh, this one, which is uh, their deferred revenue. But that deferred revenue is not an, not a liability. You don't have to pay that money to anyone. If, if a member is there with you for 25 years, that money is with you. Even if that member leaves after five years, you don't have to pay him anything that because you are leaving five years, I'm paying you the remaining part of the uh, membership money. No, that money still stays with the company. So that is where on valuation the company currently stands. Right? Uh, we'll move to the next slide. I think we have only two or three slides left. So if the business is so cheap and so attractive, 
uh, as in it, if it is so attractive, why it is trading so cheap? So we have covered already some of the thing. Over aggressive selling led to poor member quality and dissatisfaction in the past. Aggressive revenue booking in the past dented investor confidence. In years 115 and 116, Changes in FY19 and FY20 has completely changed the profit and loss in balance sheet. And reported numbers in the PL and balance sheet lead to very poor return ratios, which we already know. Renting room to non-members. Again, that was a thing of the past. Uh, uh, high members to room ratio leading to unavailability of rooms. This is probably one of the most important metric to track this company going forward as well. One, mem one thing which we should always keep on tracking is this member to room ratio, which has gone down in the current year because they have not added member any new, as in uh, they've added new members, but uh, they have uh, rejected some of the EMI members. So net net, they have not added any new members this year. So the, uh, the member to room ratio has gone down, which is a good thing for the company. Uh, they've added more rooms and they have uh, reduced the members today. But going forward, this number should not increase a lot. Uh, we don't know what is the right number, but it should keep on uh, falling or it should uh, stabilize at the current stage. It should not keep on increasing. That is a big sign of uh, a negative thing happening with the company. Uh, the second last point is the negative customer reviews. See, customer reviews on, we are living in an online world. For any product or any services, there will be 50, uh, I'm just assuming, if a product is a good product, they uh, say uh, 50 people are liking that product and 50 people are not liking that product. I'm telling you, there is a high probability people who like the product will not come on internet and uh, give the good reviews always. But people who don't like the product have a higher chance of coming online and uh, uh, putting it out. So just don't based on just the negative uh, reviews. I am not saying the customer uh, experience has been wonderful. Uh, this is a problem with the company, which the company has already started the addressing by increasing the room uh, count so that they can serve their customers during the high traffic uh, season. And the last point, which is very evident to all of us that COVID spread is again leading to fall in demand for vacation at that moment at least. Uh, next slide, please. I think I've already taken a lot of time, uh, 12.45, so we have covered it more than one and one hour. So I think only two slides left. Next slide, please. Akhilesh? Akhilesh, uh, bhai, uh, next slide, please. 